Hi, Virgo. Happy Saturday. I'm, I'm being led to do something different, something I've, I don't think I've ever done, maybe once or twice. Um, a channel message. Okay. I want to see what spirit has, what messages need to come through for you uh, through channeling here. I hope this message resonates. But one of the first things I heard was sexy chocolate. Now, I heard that phrase before on um, movie, a movie. Uh, coming to America, <laughs> uh, sexy chocolate. But I heard also something about maybe the Grand Canyon or a canyon. Could be rock climbing or something like that. Traveling. Uh, vlogger, maybe traveling to different places and documenting that. Not getting along well with others. You don't like to hang around with a bunch of people, okay? You're pretty much an introvert, as I am. I just heard as I am. Introverts, you don't really hang out with a lot of people. The friends that you have, you've possibly had like forever, like they're your ride or dies. Okay, the people you meet now, they aren't as supportive. You can't really trust them. Their energy fucking sucks. Who I just heard, they tend to take you for granted. You know, just I'm hearing trifling. They're just trifling, and and you can really rely on the people who you grew up with, who you went to elementary school with, and these people have always been reliable. No problems, no issues, no nothing. I heard skank. Okay, dealing with somebody who's a skank, who's a backstabber. Okay. Um, you're getting your own set of downloads. I'm hearing your own set of downloads. You know what to do. You know, you don't have to second guess or question yourself. You know exactly what it is you need to do. You know exactly who this trifling itch is. Okay. Hmm. Just heard you've got an itch, you gotta get it scratched and take it how it resonates with you. You know what I'm talking about. You're ready to come out of celibacy. <laughs> Celibacy, you're ready to come out, okay? I'm hearing you're ready to come out of the celibacy closet. You you have been celibate for a while, but now you're ready to mix and mingle, to get to know people, to get to have that one special person. I'm hearing that union with somebody special. You're not going to offer yourself up to just anybody. They have to mean something. It has to be special. Maybe you're named after a parent like they're you're their namesake they're, they're on the other side with you i hear they tried to contact you maybe communicate with you i don't think it's your parent it could be like a grandparent or somebody like that maybe everybody in the family has the same initial like s or a or, or m or sam maybe you have a sam like everybody in your family has a name like jacob or jennifer or jacoby or anthony Aries, a I'm hearing Aries. All right, not Aries, it could be, but I'm hearing Aries. Everybody has like all the same initials, okay? Could have the initials A A A. Oh, and I'm hearing Anthony Arturo Anderson. Take that how it resonates with whoever. Anthony Arturo Anderson. I think at, but all of everybody's in the family. Everybody in the family has the same initials, okay? I heard. Uh, Somebody is trying to achieve rock hard abs. <laughs> Keep at it. You'll get it. Somebody could have a leak in their in their home, some sort of leak that you need to get fixed. It could be some, something also with the foundation is a little off in your home. Maybe you see cracks in the ceiling or something like that. The foundation is off, but there's something also in your life a little off. Um, it's like you need to find balance in your life. I'm hearing also through creativity, do it yourself at home. So you don't have to pay anybody to do it. Follow your dreams and your passions. You're not too old to start again. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your dreams. I heard mama loves you. She's on the other side. She loves you. You possibly cry. And you cry today because you miss your mother. She feels your pain. You're ready to take it to the next level, but you don't realize it. You've come so far. Don't give up on yourself. Like I said, don't give up on your dreams and your journey. I heard Sam again. The name's Sam. Smack. Somebody about to smack. Somebody going <laughs> to You want to smack some people, okay? But don't. Just, I'm hearing back, back down, you know. Don't let people get you to the point to where you get so upset, you start screaming and yelling because you're holding stuff in, okay? Release it, but not do it in a physical way, okay? I'm hearing watch us. Watch what you say. Watch your tone. I heard watch your sound. Watch what it is that you're hearing. You know, if somebody pisses you off and, and it's constant, 
it's like you have a lot of different things going on and the wrong person is going to come to you at the wrong time and then it's on. It's on and pop. Just watch what you say, especially at work, because work could be a little trifling at the moment. OK, I'm hearing quite trifling. You know, it's like you are dealing with some uneasy or unhealthy energy around you at work. Make sure you are praying before you go in on anoint yourself, whatever it is that you have to do to feel that peace within before you step place in that work workplace. OK, it's time to move on. You have some beautiful eyes. I, heard, I also heard the eyes have it. It's me. It's all about me. I'm in control of my life, of my journey, of my destiny. Something about the foundation is cracking in your life. But I just feel like that crack is going to open you up to new opportunities. I say crack, but I'm thinking about boiled eggs because I just put some eggs on the stove to make some tuna later. But something about the crack. But when you open it up, it's going to be a new experience. So let allow this, not let, allow this crack in your life to take place. It's only going to take you to higher levels. Okay. Climbing that mountain. See so you climbing that mountain little by little. You may slip and slip and possibly fall, but please get back up and remain strong. Remain steady on that path. Don't look back. Okay. About to take a test. Don't be afraid of what it is that you are trying to achieve. Keep on going. Study. Huh. I keep hearing the eyes have it. Maybe something's going on with your eyes and your foot. It's foot pain, maybe knee pain. I'm having issues right now with sciatica in my right leg and it's killing me. I put a pain patch on <clears throat> about an hour ago. So maybe you're dealing with some sciatica, which I when I was putting the, the pain patch on, I was like, okay, I want to mention it. Maybe somebody else is going through that, you know, some sciatica pain or something. Pain in your leg, your knee, maybe joints, um, maybe starting to fast. The Daniel fast or doing something that's going to be healthy for you. I'm hearing something about a red truck. Somebody possibly has a hood up on a red truck. You're having issues with your car or truck or red. Something about blemishes. You don't like what's the, is a blemish or something on your face. Um, you're uncomfortable with with blemishes and, and marks on your face. And I'm also hearing something strange. Oh, what was that movie? I'm hearing the, is it the Flemish cap uh, from, I don't know, George Clooney played and he ended up passing away when the boat sank. I hear something about the Flemish cap. I don't know why. Maybe George Clooney is hot to you, is fine to you, okay? Fish, eat fish. Mm -hmm. About fish, I just missed, I mentioned tuna earlier, but fish focus the diet on fish, cut out the meat consumption. I heard cut out the meat consumption. Hmm, I heard you have a stellar appearance. Okay, you are regal to some people, people really, really respect you, Virgo, although they should. More water, uh, more water consumption. You're dehydrated. That's for me too. I know I don't drink enough water. Oh, yeah, I know. Hmm. I just said I don't drink enough water, but you should drink enough coffee. I drink two coffees a day and that's it. Okay, that's the third cup today. But anyway, we, it's not about me. You ever go? I feel like now I just said it's not about me. It's not about them. It's all about you. It's all about the energy you allow into your energy field, you allow into your chakra system, okay? I just heard something about your back. Maybe you're having some issues with your back aligning, maybe having to go to a chiropractor to get, a chiropractor to get realigned. But this is also something, finding your center, realigning all of your chakra system. So it becomes one again because it's all over the place. And you yourself are all over the place. You got so much going on. It's like your mind is messy on the inside, okay? Clear the clutter of your mind, your heart, your soul, and your divinity, everything around you, you and at work, clear up that negative negative energy around you. Reground yourself. Refocus. Re I just had reset, but refocus. Maybe you just need to reset your life, even if it means you are doing a detox, a body detox, okay? A body detox as well. Yep, take away what no longer serves you. Huh. 
I hear clogging. Maybe somebody wants to learn how to clog or line dance or something like that as well. Country Western style clogging, dancing, line dancing, um, maybe square dancing, turning square dancing into like a pop theme or, or, or an R&B dance, but using uh, clogging or something like that to, um, to set it off is what I heard. Set it off. Okay. Being, being definitely into your creativity when it comes to dance. And also, I'm hearing resetting your finances, learning how to save a little goes a long way, okay? Huh? I just heard a little goes a long way. Even if you, like, have sex maybe once or twice a year, that's enough for you. Okay, that's so why I just heard it. Take your time with this. Somebody wants to reset curtains or reset, put curtains up or something, change your curtains, change your blinds, maybe replacing your blinds have issues working a blind they no longer have the string on them you gotta pull them and then they'll release themselves something like that hmm. yep you need to let go of those lower level demons those lower level bottom feeders okay they don't need to be in your life you're above them it's not like you're better than they are you know but they are below you you're not you know and i'm not saying it in a negative way i hope you get what i'm saying you can do better you can do better I hear stay strong, stay focused, stay on top of your game. Because you got people as more, more the more you try to climb up, the more they try to pull, yank your feet and pull you down. Kind of like I'm seeing if you are a fan or back in the day, because I haven't watched it in years. Um, Bob Barker, what's the name of that show? Price is Right. They had a, a game where this mountain climb would climb, 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 climb. You know what I'm talking about? Do, 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 whatever that is. And that's what I'm hearing. And that's what I'm saying. They're, they're actually trying to pull you down. The higher you get to the top, they try to pull you back down to their lower level energy because they can't do anything for themselves. It's always Virgo, Virgo doing this, Virgo, Virgo doing that. You help people as, out as best you can. And it's like a, a slap in your fucking face. Okay. And it hurts when the people you trust do you worse than the people who, who you don't, who you don't even know. It's like the people you trust and the people you love. Uh, I mean, I'm talking about on a friendship basis. It, it could be family, but it's like it hurts you when these very people try to pull you down or they talk about you behind your back and you find out about it. OK, that hurts like F. OK. Trust you. Trust you. That's the main thing. You know, you know what you need to do. You know who you need to release in your life. I feel like this is just a reset period for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. We've got the, re the uh, eclipse coming up. All right. And I feel like that's going to bring a lot of changes. It's going to bring a lot of things out in the open for you to see. Okay. The people who claim to be your friends, who claim to be there to have your back are going to be your worst enemy. Okay. Or already your worst in enemy. They're very envious of you. I had, uh, I went to uh, a New Year's Eve party. Okay. Uh, it was a New Year's Eve slash retirement party for my boss in the building where I work. So I had on a nice print dress and everything. Her was did makeup was there. Everything was lit, you know. So one of my so-called buddies at work, she lives in the building, you know, she made a comment to me that I didn't like, but I just let it went over my head. I was taking a picture and I don't like taking pictures. It's a lot where y'all don't see my face, but I don't like taking pictures. So one of the resident and the resident who I'm referring to the other one, very, very pretty, very, very beautiful. She had, she has like dimples and everything. And she, she said, you can take a picture with me. I said, no, I'm cool. I won't take a picture. So she asked me to take a picture. She wanted to snap a picture of me. I said, okay, that's fine. So I stood up. Okay. I already take the picture, even though I don't like them. You know, I had the other the resident who I was just referring to, so supposed, supposed to be friends, but she made a comment. She said, I got ready to take the picture. I sit up and she said, hold that stomach in, bitch. But she was looking at me all night, okay, from across the room. Uh, not not to say that she was gay or anything, but just looking at me, you know, like, oh, dog, she look, look good because I was I don't wear makeup to work or anything like that. And I, we don't have to really dress up. But And I just caught her looking at me when I was on the other side of the room, like, you know, are you intimidated by, by me? You know, but anyway, for her to make that comment, you're supposed to be cool with me then, you know. So I feel like it was a problem, but I didn't say anything. Hold that stomach in. You know, that's what she said, you know. So I didn't say anything, you know, and, and she's just that just that type of person. You want to realize the people who you think are in your corner are really not. She got into it with a resident the other day, right? I'm in the, in the office and I heard this, this guy was moving out some furniture and she said something to him and trying to direct him and she made a comment he told her i heard her all i heard him all bitch get the f out of my face and he said it's so loud you know 
And then she came into the office after I went and found out what was going on. Later, she came to the office. Well, are you going to do anything about it? What the heck do you want me to do about it? I'm not a principal. I'm not a police officer. I'm not a resource officer. Okay, I'm in management. That's it. You know, y'all go on. Do it. You know what I'm saying? I can correct something. I can talk to him about it or talk to you about it. But what do you want me to do? Go beat his ass? Because he called you a bitch. Stay out of people's business. You know? So I feel like there's a lot of opportunities that, that you're going to see that's necessary. The people who are truly, truly stay there in your corner are not. Okay? You'll know exactly who I'm talking about. You'll know exactly who you need to rid yourself of. But I felt this, this energy coming with her a long time that we were going to get into this issue. Okay? I tell you not to smoke in a certain area of the building, but you do it anyway in my face because <laughs> you want me to say something to you, <laughs> bitch, please, I ain't got time for that. So a lot of things are going to come out. A lot of people who are impressed by you or envious of you, you know, talk about you behind your back. You're going to see that it's like they're going to start glowing in your eyes. You're going to start seeing the true them or who they truly are. And you're just going to bitch, please, and go on about your business, male or female. You're going to really, really see somebody's true value as to how they feel about you. Some people are in your corner, some not. The very people who are in your corner are now becoming your en enemies. Out of envious, out of being jealous of you because they they just, they got some effed up things going on in their lives, so they're going to take it out on you because they can't have what they want in their lives. And that's okay because you're still going to glow in God's eyes and spirit's eyes. You still got friends who have your back who's going to always have your back. These temporary friends were in your life for a reason, if they ever were a friend. Hmm. Okay, so I'm, I'm hearing that I will put in the comment section is you've got a friend by, um, is it Taylor? Taylor, what's his name? Oh, you know what I'm talking about. I don't know why I want to say George Taylor. I know that's not right. I know that's not right. Hold on, let me look it up. And I should not. Um, Okay. Oh, it's James Taylor. <laughs> well, I say jo George Taylor. Maybe you know George Taylor. Yeah, you've got a friend. You, you you know you have a friend. You have a friend indeed. And whoever is in your life has been in your life forever. You've never had an argument. You've never had a, a disagreement. You can talk to this person about anything. And you know who to tell your business to and who not to tell your business to. Because you know if you tell your business to one person, it's going to it's gonna be spread around like wildfire. So you, there's certain things you know to share with this person and there's certain things you know not to share with this person because you know this person's true character when you first met them, when they first walked in or stepped into your life, okay? They are so envious. They're so jealous of you because they can't be where you are. They can't have what you have, okay? I just heard this, fake, this person is fake as, as fake as leather, fake leather. They're fake. They're fake as F. All right. This person can't control your energy. You don't allow this person's negativity to 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 break that energy field, that field of protection you have around you from God, from spirit. OK. Stay up on the game. Uh, something about sardines. Maybe somebody's eating sardines. I literally smell it. Like and it's not. What is it? What is it? But it's not in the can, though. It could be. What is the fish that they put on the fish that they put on um, pizza? It's some kind of fish, really small. It starts with a C. I can't think of the name of it. Crate, crate, crater. No, I can't think of it. But anyway, I don't know if somebody's eating fermented fish. Maybe you're taught how to, how to ferment it or something like that. Okay, I'm hearing crisp, like um, Sister Act. Maybe somebody likes Sister Act. I'm hearing Sister Act. There was a guy in there named Crisp. Or uh, chips, potato chips or crisp. Cookies, but biscuits, whatever. Trial and tribulations are going to end soon. You need to go through this spirit. There's a break. In the energy around you and when you come through it you're going to be able to to breathe a sigh of relief of relief and release okay but definitely let go of those negative energies let go of those sick 
ass souls around you is what I just heard. That lower level bottom feeder in your life is one in particular who you know you need to let go of, who you know you need to rid yourself of. I'm hearing that albatross, whoever he or she may be. All right, Virgo, let them go. They're no good for you. And, and you know, you knew from the very bit beginning, from the get go, that that person was not going to be your friend for long, that something was going to take place in your life that was going to split it down the middle and release that person out of your life. Finally been able to send you finally you've always seen the light in this person, but now they've they've shown their true colors. You got the back the F up out of their energy. Because they're doing nothing but tearing you down behind your back. And the, the people who they're who that he or she is talking to are telling you what's going on with that person and what that person said about you. It's not worth it. I hope this resonates. And let me know if you've watched this all the way through. If you want to see something like this again, let me know. <laughs>